Cletus in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, that sounds very exotic. I like it. Hey, Paul, does PS Audio have or use an anechoic chamber when designing and measuring components and systems? And what are your thoughts on this? Well, the simple answer is no, we do not have an anechoic chamber. We did have an anechoic chamber, but we don't anymore. And I'll tell you that story. But to answer your question so I don't bore the crap out of everybody, <laughs> you can stick around for the story if you want. An anechoic chamber is very handy, especially down at low frequencies. Our equipment here, we have a number of programs that are what they call gated programs. And we have, oh, we take great extremes like taking our speakers, putting it on a forklift, putting it in the middle of the warehouse and measuring it so that the time it takes the sound to come from the speaker, bounce off the walls is long enough that it doesn't interfere with our measuring. So, but we can't get down to, you know, some super low frequencies and we have to kind of guess and do a lot of listening. Where an anechoic chamber would be really handy, but for most stuff, you don't really need an anechoic chamber. So we get by great with our gated systems, which is what most companies use. Anechoic chambers are cool and expensive. So I'll tell you a quick little story. We, when we first moved into this build, or just before we moved into this building, when we were trying to buy this building, there was a company in here called First RF, and they made super secret radar something or others for the government. And there's cameras all over here, it's pretty cool. And they had a wicked cool anechoic chamber that they spent a million dollars building. I mean, this thing had a complete, its own you know, air conditioning system, its own uh, fire suppression system because what it was made out of was like flammable stuff. And anechoic chambers are cool. I mean, when I first looked at this building, Terry and I came over here and thought, God, this place is for sale. Look at this. It has its own anechoic chamber. You walk in and close the door. You can, if you wait long enough, you can hear the blood in your ears. It's so quiet. So where was this anechoic chamber? Right here. See this? Take a look at this line. Can you see that? If you look closely, I don't know how closely you can look, but you can see these metal studs. That's where the stud, and then this is where the wall, and it went all the way up to the ceiling. We've got a 30, 40 foot ceiling. The air conditioning system is still up there and just turned off, but you can see the line here. This was the largest anechoic chamber west of the Mississippi. And I was so, th I mean, it, you know, th they couldn't take it with them. So when we bought this building, we, he said, do you want us to take it out? I said, hell no, leave it in. It's great. And I won't bore you with too long of the story, but we went through, oh gosh, three, maybe four times where we put a bid in on the building. Two of the, there were three owners. Two of the owners said, heck yes, an engineering company, you bet. And the third owner said, nope, they're offering too little. <sighs> I think we offered $5 million for this building. And that's, that was its going rate. And the other owner said, nah, I gotta have seven or eight million. It was ridiculous. I mean, it, anyway. So we lost the building. They hired, and this was just a handshake. It was great. They would have done well, we would have done well. So we lost the building and my heart, I mean, I got to tell you, and, and the fellow who owned the building, he, he, he was almost in tears. He had to pay $50,000 to have this destroyed, to have people come in here and take it down. It sat out in the parking lot for the longest time and then went to the landfill. <sighs> yeah, because they were going to turn this into offices. And then they got an offer and it fell through. We put another offer in, they accepted it sort of, and then it fell through. We went through this time and again, and we finally got the place. But at the end of the day, there was our anechoic chamber. And in, in hindsight, in retrospect, it's probably a good thing we didn't 
because we're running out of room in the warehouse. <laughs> this is the warehouse. So I don't know what we would have done, but I would have, uh, would have given my left, you know what, to have that. So, okay, there's your story. <laughs> Take it easy and thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow.